um, a business analyst uh, is a person who wears many hats. They are the bridge between the technical world and the business world. Yeah. So sometimes you are with developers and sometimes you're with um, business um, associates or, or executives. So they can say something like a requirements, for example, they say the business side is saying, I want my website to look green, Yes. right? I must go this side and say, okay, I must analyze and see, does green really work? Mm. Is it a good feel? Because I mean, your logo is blue. So yeah. why would you want a green? Good day, a warm welcome to another episode of Discover Talent with Vico.net. Today I am with Bonolo Rama Tibela. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, let me describe how I am, right? Yeah. So I'm currently going through adult puberty. Uh -huh. um, you're trying to find your way in the world, but also in family gatherings. Yes. So I've reached that age where now they invite me, yeah. but they don't take my opinion seriously. Yeah. So they like lumping me in with the <laughs> kids, but the adults. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I'm currently <laughs> feeling. <laughs> It's a lot, but I'm good. I it's mean, a lot. Yeah, no, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll come back to that. By the way, you've got so much energy drops off. I really do. And it's funny because I'm an introvert. So Really? I, yes. I wouldn't have said so. I know, I know, I know. Um, I spend a lot of time alone. So it means I get to, you know, think, calibrate. By the yeah. time I go out, I'm like... Yay, intro, extroverts, take so, my energy. <laughs> so when you wake up every morning, you're like this? <laughs> I'm not sure. I am. I, I, yes, I am. But I have to calm down first, like calm my heart rate. Yes. Luckily, I sleep with my watch, so I'm like, okay, resting heart rate must be, you know, before yeah. I start my day. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so it's so the hang same on a second. So so you put on your watch when you sleep to measure if you come. Not really. The <laughs> 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 no, the the alarm. I have my alarms on my phone yeah. as well. Uh, okay. Um, but in general, I just check to see. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah. Always good. Yes, always good, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But welcome. Thank you. Feels now good you 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 studied a master's in informatics. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Information systems. That's what they call it um, yeah. abroad. Yeah. All right. And you are a business analyst and a product owner yes, as well. Sir. Yes, All right. Sir. So take us into that world. What what do you do? What do I do? You know, that's a very difficult question because <laughs> it's such a transigent environment, yeah. right? Um, a business analyst uh, is a person who wears many hats. They are the bridge between the technical world and the business world. Yeah. So sometimes you are with developers and sometimes you're with... Um, business um, associates or, or executives. So they can say something like a requirements, for example, they say the business side is saying, I want my website to look green, Yes. right? I must go this side and say, okay, I must analyze and see, does green really work? Mm. Is it a good feel? Because I mean, your logo is blue. So yeah. why would you want a green background? Anyway, yeah. Yeah. now I go to the developers and then we discuss. So yeah. it's a back and forth all yeah. the time. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm actually a buffer between those two worlds. Yeah. Um, and product ownership, um, it's basically um, a higher level to yeah. that business analyst. Now you are more structured. It's yes. more of a, um, a, not permanent, but yeah. it's, a, it's a position um, upon which you now, the official buffer between yes. everyone, yes. including the client's world. So it would okay. be the client, um, business, and the developers. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as you are articulating that, I could immediately see the relationship. Yes. Um, between between the two. Mm -hmm. Now, information systems and what you're doing, mm -hmm. is there a natural do they complement each other? Is there a natural marriage in there? Hmm. Yes, yes, they are. Because information systems, how I put it, is basically a component, a, com a set of components that are um, they are set up to collect, to process, and to store data. So yeah. you need to be able to understand yourself what is going in there okay. and what the expectations should be and yeah. what the results should be. So yeah. they do marry each other and yeah. complement each other quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what, what we keep discovering in this program, right, is what people study and what they do. Mm. At times it looks disjointed, but it's actually not. Yeah. 
Um, and the learning really is that the components of what you study are, are useful in so many career paths, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And, and business analysis, is that what you, was it by accident or by choice? It was, it stumbled upon me. It was, okay. it came on my lap. So I'll take you. It found you. Yes, it found me. So I was, can I go back to like my high school of life? Of course. Okay. So listen, kids. High school, I was not a really great academic achiever. I was very average. Okay. Sports was great, yeah. right? Um, up until matric applying for, I actually studied computer applications technology. Okay. So this is a version of information systems. Yes. But Information systems did not have a language for me yeah. in that high school environment. So I got to um, varsity applying, and they're like, mm, your marks. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and obviously, I was deeply offended because yeah. I was like, how oh, but <laughs> Look. Um, but in retrospect, I'm understanding that if they had taken me in at yeah. that time, I would not have been able to survive that environment. Okay. So what I did was someone recommended to me, it's called a four-year program at the University of Pretoria. Yeah. It's like grade 13, mm. right? I know, Miss Idame, if you're listening, I don't mean it that way. Yeah. So <laughs> it helps you transition yeah. from high school to yes. university. Yeah. So a, co a module that you do in a semester in, yeah. let's say, normal yeah. university, yeah. it's spanned over a year. Yeah. So it's like yeah. six it's, months. It's six like months. bridging. Yes, it's yeah, a, yeah bridging. So... Um, I did, it was a BCom general degree. Okay. So they expose you to the environment, mathematics, statistics, business management, etc. And then in October, in that year, uh, they said, you need to choose now where you're going. Mm. I said, but I like business, but I like IT. And yeah. someone was like, there's something in between. <laughs> uh -huh. So then I, I, I went for information systems okay. um, and it was really great. And another thing, and I know I'm taking over this conversation. But no, take over, please. Take over. Okay. Um, so because I was in uh, boarding school, we were studying in communal spaces, right? So it was very hard for me to concentrate which is why I did not do so well, right? Okay. So then I took an aptitude test that revealed that I was an introvert. Yeah. So the guidance counselor then said, you need to um, start studying in isolated areas and see how it goes. Okay. From that point forth, I started doing well. I went from D students to an A plus student. Oh, wow. So it's definitely possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So it's really about understanding self, right? Understanding um, self. Because that becomes quite critical. Yes. And, and I think an important message, what you're saying is that how you showed up at high school does not define you 100%. in terms of your potential and what you can do. 100%. Uh, certainly at university level and certainly in your working career and life in general. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, okay. it's always different. There's different seasons that you go through as well. And those seasons will require a different version of you. And that's why you constantly need to meet yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But focus and resilience are equally important, right? 100%. To keep you on that path. Yes, 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 yes. Now, as a business analyst, take us into that world. If I said to you a minute or two, um, with you, I may, I may have to make it 30 seconds. <laughs> um, yeah. What, what does that involve? What does a business analyst do? Mm. Okay. So I'll give and, you... And typically, if I may add, sorry about that. Yeah. What problems do business analysts solving for? What are they solving for? Okay. So let's say the problem is a business is mostly, it works on paper-based systems, so physical paper, yeah. right? Um, and then that is the problem. And then where we come in, especially as a business analyst with information systems, background, we say, okay, we will understand your processes and then map this to the digital world. Mm. So what does um, applying for something look like on paper okay. compared and how do we program this to, to look on, on, on a, a computer or yeah. a device? Um, and then that's, that's basically how, what we do. We translate what is paper based okay. onto um, the digital forefront. Okay. Yes. So that's, 
30 seconds. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now let's translate that and try and problem solve, mm. analyze um, in a different way. Mm -hmm. So if, if you had the privilege to head up an organization, yeah. right? Yeah. So maybe think about your client site and so forth. And you try and visualize it and say, if I was CEO for one day, what are those two or three things mm. that from a business analysis perspective, yeah. you will say, actually, I would look at these mm. in order to drive growth? Yes, yes. Hmm. Three things. The first thing I would say is communication. I know this is people don't think about it. They'd be like, no, I can email this person, but communication, yeah. but also comprehension, right? Okay. I've found that a lot of times someone can say something, yeah. but it literally means something different in yeah. when I translate it. So yeah. you have to just make sure what you're saying, you want a green background. Yes. When you click something, yeah. okay, then they confirm or they yes. say no. So that's very, very okay. important, especially at a very high level. People yes. are busy. People are, I don't know, they, they, no, they are busy. I was going to say busy in a different way, but they yes. are just busy. You don't have time to, um, you know, try to understand what this yeah. other person means. So clear communication. Mm. If I could, I'd build a system that has like um, automated functions. Okay. This, it's urgent. This, it's important because okay. we need to... There's something called a Heisen, Heisen, Heisenauer, Heisenauer method, yeah. right? A, a time priority Correct. matrix. So if we can build that into a system, if I send you an email or I send you a text, it should say it's urgent and important. Then yeah. you can customize it and say, okay, then I'll have to prioritize this. Yeah. Um, that's, that's one. Um, two, to decrease the stigma of technology is going to take over my job. Okay. No, it's not. Instead, we want to enable people to use technology right. from different age groups, you know, um, because you didn't have a computer when you were growing, unless you did, but you, you, you are my age, but you know, before, let's say our, yeah. our fathers, Correct. they didn't have, yep. you know, those technologies, but yep. you know, even when they're working, they still use paper-based systems. So yes. how do we teach them? How do yeah. we standardize the language between, you know, a millennial who is employed versus someone who has not used a computer? Yeah. So standardizing yeah. that level. Yeah. Um, am I on the fourth one? Oh, I'm, am I still You're missing? You're the second <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they do it. <laughs> no, but that's fine. Yes, but I yes. think what you're saying is, is quite important, right? That you might have brilliant concepts, yes. uh, great ideas, um, things to do, but if you can't communicate them, make sense, and they're understood, yeah. Yeah. they count for very little, isn't yes. it? Because it's all about saying, are we on the same, same wave? Yes. And chasing the same goals, right? Exactly. For a common cause. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important because whilst there's a technical aspect of the role, I think what you're highlighting for me is that some of these skill sets that we tend to call them soft, they're actually not soft. Uh, and communication is uh, one of them. Yes. Uh, the second one is that don't fear machines, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> they're not here yes. to take over. Yes, yes. They're yes. here to help us and we mm -hmm. need to work with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and besides, we are the ones behind them, you know, exactly. uh, in that context. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, Bragging time. If, I, if, if you know, when you look back, um, yeah. notwithstanding that it's it's still a relatively short um, career, mm. uh, and there's a lot ahead. Um, yeah. What have been some of your proud moments or achievements to date? Hmm. Proud moments. I think that it started when I realized who I was. Um, because, you know, I mean, high school, you're just figuring it out, but university, you're alone. It's not yeah. a controlled environment anymore. Yeah. And you identify, you know, what, what you like, what you don't like. Um, and eventually once you find that element, you find your voice. Yeah. So you're able to say what you need in the right way. And you're able to see those achievements come yeah. to fruition. Yeah. Um, my second moments was definitely, um, I was in a job. Uh, for f seven months, I believe, mm -hmm. I did not like that. And it was fresh out of varsity. So yeah. now I'm like, yo, 
what is my mom going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm quitting. Uh, yeah. I must be grateful for this job. But yeah. no, I was like, no, I, I don't like it. Um, yeah. It's not, you know, producing, you know, th- this thing inside. I mean, you can see my energy. So yeah. when when I'm disengaged, you can feel it. Yeah. So everyone was like, ah, okay. But that proud moment when I went out and applied for another job to say, oh, by the way, I know you offered me in varsity. And I said, yeah. no. Can you, do you have space for me? <laughs> so that's, the, those are the kind of things. And it's linked to being self-aware, right? Because yeah. you can yeah. then say, can you please help me? Yeah. The second one um, was when I was selected for the Shevning Scholarship Program. Okay. Um, this was as a result of networking. Yeah. Just speaking to someone, yes. you know. Um, what is this? What does it do? Okay, I want to be a part of it. Um, and that scholarship actually opened quite a lot of doors for me. Yes. You know, um, I was able to go to the UK for the very first time, an international country. I was able to study what I wanted to study, yeah. go where I wanted to yeah. go. So it was really, I, I think it was a great achievement. Yeah. Um, but then there's also the academic accolades. I can tell you, sorry, I'm going <laughs> to go move. on. Okay, so. Remember, this is a breaking moment. It's right? a break. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So um, when I was in varsity, um, I discovered that I was an introvert, right? And then I still networked. I asked, you know, the people who were already part of the program, how did you do it? How can you succeed? How can I do well? Um, They gave me those three steps. I made sure that I, you know, followed those three steps, right? The steps are... One, if you're a student, you need to make sure that you prepare all your uh, lecture material. Make sure that you understand what is going to be spoken about in your lecture. Two, you have to try and consult. Make sure that you understand or you clarify what you don't understand. Three, you have to revise. Even if you don't have a test coming up, you have to make sure you do that. So those are the three steps that I took, right? That took me from D to A, right? Um, And... Because of that, I actually watched my tuition pay itself, right? So I would get tux themselves. They would award me, you know, like paying off my um, my registration fee, for example. And then I would get grants and scholarships and different types of awards. And to me, that was it was just the result of hard work, but also self-actualization. So I think those were my proud moments. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. thank you for that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, Bonolo Rama Tibela. Um, you've got so much energy, you know, <laughs> like bundles. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and yeah, if you're studying, there is your 101, right? Um, prepare, understand, and consult. Yep. Um, yep. Did I get it right? You got it right. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. But <laughs> thank you for joining us uh, and for sharing a bit of yourself with us. We really appreciate it. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for watching. Yes. Thank you for watching. Thank you. <laughs>